I'll be showing the Microsoft Education Quick Guides, which were created by a Scottish MIE expert, Heather Aird. These fun and colorful Quick Guides are one-page PDF handouts, digital, or you can print them, and they're great for learning about all the latest updates for Microsoft Education. So let's get started. To start out, let's go to the blog that has all of these guides. So in the upper left, in my browser, we're gonna go to aka.ms edu quick guides and hit enter. And this pulls up the blog where all of these are linked and I'll show some other places as well. So all of these quick guides, there's this nice graphic that gives you a sense of how colorful they are. We have grouped these guides from Heather Aired right here. So you can see things like AI and EDU tools, our M365 tools, learning accelerators, and inclusive and accessibility. Now what's nice is any of these you can click and it's gonna open up a PDF and you can hand these PDFs out digitally or you can print them out. Now I'm gonna go first and open up the Copilot one. I've already got this open. So here is Copilot and you can see it's fun, it's colorful and very visual. So it has a quick guide, explains what is Copilot, some of the top features of Copilot. And if you scroll down to the bottom, there's even a link to the Microsoft Learn course and a link for other guides and other tools at the bottom. So if I click on this link here, it's gonna open up the actual course that we have for Microsoft Copilot. Moving on to some other ones, here's the one about AI and Teams. We just put out a bunch of free AI features for educators built into Microsoft Teams for Education. You can see the nice colorful examples on the page here. Another great AI one we have is Reading Coach with AI Stories. This one has been really popular being able to let students pick their own adventure and picking the path and generating that story to practice reading out loud. And there's also examples at the bottom where you can find these tools. This one is coach.microsoft.com. We even have Conmigo for Teachers. This was a partnership that we recently announced with Khan Academy and Conmigo for Teachers is free. Moving on to some of our learning accelerators. We have a reading progress quick guide. This is a great tool for practicing reading fluency. We have Search Progress. This came out last year. This is great for information literacy and being able to have students practice with sources and research. A brand new one that just came out is Speaker Progress and the ability to practice communicating and public speaking. And at the top, you can have things like, what is Speaker Progress in case you're not familiar? Things like creating assignments, different types of delivery, feedback and content feedback and insights. And then Math Progress is our newest learning accelerator. This one is in private preview right now, coming out later in fall of 2024. And we also have to round it out, Reflect with our Feelings Monsters. Reflect is part of the learning accelerator family and a lot of great examples where you can find Reflect, where you can use Reflect, you can use it standalone, or you can use it in places like Teams or Class Notebook. Moving on to M365 tool examples. Classwork in Teams, this is a great one if you're using Teams for Education, putting together modules and assignments and resources. The ability to reuse modules, which not everyone is aware of, it's a brand new feature. We've got our good friend, the OneNote Class Notebook. And so what is the Class Notebook? Being able to embed in Class Notebook, Immersive Reader, being able to assign things. And then we've just got a core OneNote Quick Guide. Moving on, we have Forms. Forms is one of our most popular tools, both forms and quizzes. So being able to create math quizzes, new features like practice mode and present live, which you might not be aware of. And then things like Word, which has been around for 30 plus years, but there's a lot of capabilities. Did you know about things like editor or immersive reader or dictation or loop integration or translation? So learning about new features is really nice when you're exploring some of these guides where you might say, well, I know all about Word or PowerPoint. But then we also have new apps like Microsoft Loop, which is rolled out for educators who use A3 or A5, as well as students. Loop is our new collaborative tool. And then Stream, which is our video platform. This is great for your inside of the school system, creating videos, screen recordings, teleprompter mode, captions and transcripts. Even apps like Bookings, which you might not be familiar with, this is great for being able to create booking calendars or office hours or multi-seat events. This is a great tool that's been quite popular for educators that have discovered it. And then of course we have Minecraft in education. This is a great one if you haven't tried out Minecraft yet. And then to wrap up and round out the last few categories, we have inclusive and accessible. So one of my favorites are the digital tools for dyslexia. This is great, things like Immersive Reader, Dictation, Editor, the To-Do app, 
picture dictionary. So a great handout to show the M365 tools that support dyslexia. Immersive Reader has been one of my personal favorites for many years. Our team has worked on this. Helps with reading, can help with focus mode. You have all types of aspects like text, reading preferences, breaking words into syllables, different voice options. And then speech to text dictation is rolled out in many, many different areas now. You can see at the bottom, it's in PowerPoint, it's in Word, it's in OneNote, it's in Outlook. And then last but not least for the demo today, live captions and finding all the different places where live captions can work and translate even. At the bottom, you can see PowerPoint, Stream, Teams, OneNote, and Translator. So these are the Heather Aired Quick Guides. Now the other place that you can download all of these, you have the blog that I showed in the beginning, if I go to one of these, you can see at the bottom it says, find additional quick guides to get started. And if I click this link here, it takes me to this resource center. You can see the link up at the top. I'll also put that in the description. If you scroll down, you're gonna see a bunch of these quick guides right here in that resource center. And you can see at the bottom, there's many different pages. So there's these nice storage points in our resource center. And many of these guides have those links right at the bottom, just like you saw in that Copilot one. There are links to that app. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.